Hey guys! Hello! So after we went to the hot springs, we came on over to Ketchum, Idaho to visit with some RVer friends of ours. Yes, yeah, some people that we know through the Escapers. Of course, we maintain social distance and wore masks as appropriate. And we did get out on a good hike. I think it was called the Taylor Canyon Loop. For us, it ended up being very strenuous because we have just been out of shape with hiking. So it's going to take us a little bit to get that back. But it was still very scenic, very beautiful hike. It was very convenient because it was right outside the campsite. That's right. It's uh, The campsite was Lake Creek Road. It's on Campendium, who we, you know, our go-to site for finding free campsites. Yeah. Um, it's a place we stayed several years ago, and yeah, it's just peaceful. We only stayed a couple of days, and then we came up to um, Stanley, Idaho. Yes, and uh, our friend Michael is with us here in Stanley. It kind of varies how busy it is here. Um, there's a number of Campendium spots to camp, but really you could just camp, I mean, everywhere around Stanley is, not, uh, is uh, public camping. So, um, but it's very busy right now. You know, last summer was the busiest summer they've had, and then this summer is even busier. So even with the coronavirus and the pandemic happening, it's still been a really popular spot. So we are just doing our very best to kind of stay away from the crowds, be in our little quiet boondocking mm -hmm. site. Um, once we got here, we went to the main gas station in town, and right behind there, there's a free um, water spigot to, to fill up your water. So there should be some good hiking and just uh, good walks around the camping area and scenic spots. So we're going to show you a little more of Stanley. Today we have come to do the Fish Hook Creek Trail. It's a relatively flat hike, but should be very scenic. Yeah, real close to Stanley um, by Redfish Lake. It is a 4.4 mile out and back trail. That ended up being a very peaceful, nice journey with a big payoff at the end. Uh, I think the gain was about not quite 400 feet of elevation gain, so very doable for most people and just kind of a rocky, gravelly path. So we would highly recommend it. Yeah, we did it in the afternoon. Yeah, and it's we been did very... it after the work day. Yeah. It has been getting chilly here at night. Uh, we've been sitting outside to hang out with our buddy Michael as the day winds down and we are just getting all kinds of bundled up in blankets and everything um, once that sun goes down. Um, so I'm really sorry you guys but this is probably the first and only time we have ever done this but um, our friend shared this campsite with us that he you know spent hours and hours scouting all the forest roads and um, in order to share this site with us he made us promise to keep it private and I can respect that and so I hope you can too but just know that if you want to come and stay in Stanley there's tons of options on Campendium you can also check freecampsites.net probably iOverlander would be a good one as well and um, if you don't need cell service then Stanley is your oyster there's just camp on, camping along the river on the way to Redfish Lake and Stanley Lake and just tons of forest road options
We've got some breaded fish on Caesar salads. Not a bad camp lunch for today. Outer edge of the rainbow there, stronger one there, and the other side and the other side of the double. So maybe it'll all come in. We ended up extending our stay in Stanley by a couple nights because we had some mail that was being sent, general delivery, to the Stanley post office and it was going to be delivered on a Saturday, but they don't have office hours on Saturday. So, um, today's Monday. I'm going to go pick it up today, and then we will be on our merry way. We had a, a number of things sent there, actually. We forwarded our mail from America's Mailbox. We ordered a new bathroom sink because uh, there's a little mishap. Uh, you know, on driving days, things can get pretty... Uh, tumbled around in the cabinets and when Brad opened up the medicine cabinet my electric toothbrush which you know kind of has some weight behind it fell into the sink and totally cracked it uh, we tried to put a patch and and glue and that just did not hold so um, yeah so we just ordered a new sink same type of kind of cheap plastic sink but it's kind of a unique size and so we just thought that was going to be the easiest way to go about things just replace it and so Brad has printed me with his 3D printer a toothbrush holder so this should hopefully not happen again and um, we'll just have to remember to also just be very careful and open that cabinet more slowly to make sure nothing else could fall out. So on Saturday we actually did this really amazing hike up to Sawtooth Lake and at first we weren't sure that we were going to do it because it's a 10 mile hike it's pretty strenuous and uh, we just didn't really know if we were up for it but after reading a lot of reviews and hearing that our friend Kayo did the hike um, we decided we were going to give it a shot so there's actually going to be another video coming out probably next week which is going to be all about that hike it'll just kind of be a short and sweet recap but um, here were some scenes from the trail it was super gorgeous we are sad we did not find time to get out on Redfish Lake or Stanley Lake. Uh, that will be in the future for sure, getting out and paddling on those gorgeous lakes. Stanley itself is so dang charming. We had a wonderful stay and uh, we are really excited about the adventures to come. 